Good. So just go through a couple of safety um, briefings. First, first of all, I'm, I'm Fiona. I'm a coach here at Project 3. Um, so thank you for coming along. And I'm going to lead you through a 50 minutes um, low impact circuit class. So all you need is a mat um, and a long TheraBand. If you don't have a long TheraBand, a towel is absolutely fine. Um, and uh, if you just make sure the room's ventilated and you've got a drink. Um, so there's going to be loads of adaptations for each exercise. And this is to help you work at your own ability. Um, so if you feel any pain or unwell during the session, please stop and seek advice. Um, by participating, you're doing so at your own risk. Um, and it's for over 18 years and over this session. So we're going to start off with a, a warm up. Um, which is just elevating the heart rate, warming up the muscles. And um, then we're going to go into our main set, which is 12 exercises. We're going to do the set twice with a two minute recovery in between. In that two minutes, that will give you the opportunity to type in any questions that you've got. Hopefully we'll be able to answer them. And um, if you've not had a drink, get a drink or open some windows. Um, each exercise, we're going to work through all the different muscle groups that we use in triathlon. Um, and then after that, there's going to be a quick core session of six exercises and um, just real key focus in the abdominals and the back and the glutes. And then we're going to finish off the set with a nice cool down stretch. Um, so we're going to uh, just start with our warm up. So we're going to start with nice ankle rolls. So just on one foot. Just nice big rolls, rolling the ankle round, just warming up the muscles and the joints. And then we're just going to extend that into the knee, make the circles a little bit bigger. Good. And then we're going to go into the hip. So just open up the hip. Nice big circles all the way around. Good. And then swap legs. So back into your, your ankle rolls making that circle a little bit bigger, up into the knee. This is testing your balance. Good. And then into the other hips, so open up that hip. Nice big wide circles. Good, one more. Excellent. So into our squat position, feet shoulder width apart, just nice and gentle, not too low. Again, we're just slowly warming the muscles. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Each squat, just go a little bit deeper. Excellent, one more. Good, so let's stretch off the hamstrings. Down, stretch up nice and tall above your head, all the way down to the opposite leg. Just go as low as you feel comfortable. Try not an overstretch just now. Good. And one more. Excellent, good. Into side bend, so just working up the spine, reaching down a little bit deeper each time. Good, into torso twists. So open up the chest, just gently swinging from one side to the other, getting that twist in the spine and in your obliques. Good, one more. Excellent, into the shoulders. Nice big shoulder rolls all the way up and round. Good. And last one. Good, step out lunges. So we're just gonna step nice high leg all the way down, twist over that front knee, pull back. We're just gonna do about four all the way down. Twist, pull back up. Good. Just getting that motor skills, getting the balance and coordination kicking in as well. Good. Warming up the upper body. We're going to do a walkout plank. So we're going to stretch down onto the floor. Walk your hands out into a plank position. Little pause at the bottom. Push back up. 
This time, add a little press up, warm up the chest muscles all the way down. Push up. Big push back up. Try and get that stretch in the hamstrings. Last one, all the way down to the ground. Press up and then push back up. Okay, so if you want to continue and extend the warm up, I'm going to go through a demonstration of the 12 exercises. Just going to do each one a couple of times. If you're not familiar with strength and condition, this is an opportunity to just watch the technique. I will go through each technique when we're going through the set, but this is just as a quick demonstration. Okay, so the first exercise for down in plank position, two options. I'll start with all the harder options first and then show you a slightly easier option. So we're doing an upper body dynamic plank, strengthening the shoulders, chest, back and core. So you're going to drop down on the elbow, push back up. Adaptation is on your knees, hips down, and again, continuing to work the upper body. Next exercise, we're into our legs, we're into crab walks. So from here, we're sitting down, keeping the weight in our heels. We're just going to walk little steps out to the side. So making sure that when you're down, you're keeping your chest nice and high. You're not sitting forward and you're squatting down, working your legs. Next exercise is a whole body exercise. We're doing burpees. Two options for this. So it's slightly higher impact. So we're down, we're planking out. Big jump up. Second is what we call a silent burpee. Hands down, we step out, we tuck in, we stand up. And we're just going to continue with that movement pattern for that exercise. Then we're into pike press-ups, into our upper body. So our hips stay high, our hands are nice and wide. We're going to look through our legs and we're going to aim to tuck our head down and push back up. Down, push back up. We're aiming for our triceps and our shoulders. Then we're into squatting calf raises, back into our legs, squatting position. We're down into a static hold and we're very slowly going to just raise up onto the ball of our feet and back down and get into our calves. Still working our legs. Then we're onto the floor. We're into a plank with a plank reach, working our core, lower back and shoulders. So plank position, feet shoulder width apart to get you help with your balance. You're going to reach out and stretch each arm and just repeat that pattern. Then we're up into our frog squats. So working our lower body again, we're going to go down, we're going to tuck our elbows into our knee. And from here, we're going to bring our hips down parallel to the floor and then extend our hips up, really working the hamstrings, adductors and quadriceps. And we're pulling all the way up. Reverse plank. We're down, we're working our posterior chain, you'll feel this in the calves, the hamstrings, we're up into plank position, reverse. It's just our heels and our hands that are making contact. This one, the adaptation's a little bit harder. So we're up into box position and we're into a bridge. So we're gonna hold it that slightly easier, still working the same muscle groups. Then we're into our overhead squat and lat pull down. So feel free to have a shot at this one. Grab your towel or your resistance band. You're going to hold it at the widest point. You're going to hold it up. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Make sure your chest is nice and high. So from there, we're going to squat down, stand up. And then from there, we're going to pull down, squeezing our shoulder blades together, push back up. So it's two moves all the way down, keeping the weight in the heels, squeeze the shoulder blades push back up, making sure you've got the resistance on that band. Good, then we're into plank walkouts with press-ups. So the press-up is the optional part. So we did this at the start, we're walking out into plank position. You would then push up from there to make it easier, 
are a little bit harder down into press up and then walk back up. When you're pushing back up, make sure you get that stretch in the back of your legs. Curtsy lunge, two more. So we're up, chest nice and straight. Again, give this one a try. So you're all the way down into lunge position, feet back together. The difference is you're getting into that IT band and adductors, side of the leg, as well as working all the other leg groups. And then we're gonna finish in a nice mobility one. So again, give this one a try. It's called the YTW. So you're gonna lie down on your chest. It's working your upper back and your shoulders. So wide position, we're out here. We're gonna lift and hold. From there, we're just gonna do little pulses. Four pulses, one, two, three, four. Drop, then pull up into T, squeezing our shoulder blades together. Again, four pulses, one, two, three, four. Drop down, then into a W, pulling the elbows down as though you're doing a lap pull down. And then again, you're just gonna push out and pull back in and squeeze your shoulder blades. So just to show you the position standing up, it's a Y, a T, and a W. Okay, so we're gonna to go to timer. We're gonna do 40 seconds on with a 20 seconds recovery. At the 30 seconds working ratio, I'll let you know we're on a 10 second countdown. If you want to reduce that down, so the ratio is 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off but try and push forward to that 40 seconds on and 20 seconds recovery. Okay, so starting from the top, we're starting with our dynamic plank. So down onto the floor, your two options on your toes or on your knees. Good, so dropping down onto your elbows and push back up. So make sure the hips are parallel to the floor. Use your abdominal muscles, push back up. Try and alternate leading arms as you're pushing up off the floor. Remember your adaptation. You can be on your knees, making sure your abdominals are nice and tight. So we're strengthening the shoulder, the chest, back core and triceps. Good, just 10 seconds left. Big push, good, excellent. Up into crab walks, now into our legs. So remember to keep the weight back into our heels, chest nice and high. We're gonna squat down into that static hold, little side steps. Good, so all the way down, side step out. So key is to stay down. Good. Strengthening the glutes, quads, hamstrings. Good, don't come up. Keep the chest nice and high. Sit back into the heels. You should be feeling that in the quadriceps first. Top of the legs. Good, 10 seconds. Good, keep low. Good, last few seconds. Excellent, into recovery. Into our burpees, so work in every muscle group. Use your two options. If you can, start with a harder option. Put a little bit of spring into it, get into the calves, where you've got your silent option. Good, so starting from the top, hands down, all the way out, good. So really engaging your abdominal muscles to tuck your feet in. Right out into plank position. Extend as far as you can. Get parallel to the floor. Use your adaptations. Right the way down. Good, heart rate will go up a little bit. If you've got that bounce in your burpee, you've only got 10 seconds left. Excellent, into recovery. Good, into upper body. 
body. Pike press ups. So really focusing on the tricep and the shoulders. So feet about shoulder width apart, keeping the hips nice and high, hands nice and wide. Good, so down to the mat, push back up. Make sure you're looking through your legs and that head is coming down as far as you can and then extend and push from the shoulders and tricep. Excellent. Nice and low. Good, keep going, you're doing really well. 10 seconds left. If you can, keep going. Nice and low, push up and extend. Well done, into recovery. Back into the legs, squatting calf raises. So feet shoulder width apart, keep the chest nice and high. Going to go down into a static squat. The lower you go, the harder it is. All the way down. So find that focal point in the floor a couple of meters away. Help with your balance. You're just rolling up onto the ball of your foot as high as you can. Try and keep your chest nice and high. Don't lean forward. Good. Starting to feel that in the legs. Start to feel it in the calves. If you're not, you can be loading it with a wee bit more resistance, add in a little bit of weight. Good, just 10 seconds. Right up into the ball of your foot. Excellent, into recovery. Good, back onto the mat. Plank reach. So, two options here. Plank position, adaptation on your knees. Stretch forward or full plank up onto your toes. Good, nice big stretch. Try and get that arm as high as your ear and really stretch the shoulder out. Lock the abdominals, should be parallel to the floor. In your adaptation, your hips are still forward. Nice big stretch. Onto one arm. Good, try and keep the core nice and stable. Don't rock. Good, 10 seconds left. Good, well done. Into legs, frog squats. So we're gonna use our adductors. So again, we're in a squat position. We're going to push against the inside of our knee and just gently squeeze. Keep that knee in line with the ankle. So push the hips nice and high, nice and slowly. There's no rush in this one. Feel that hamstring stretch sink down into your squat. So you don't need to go too deep. Just go parallel to the floor. Don't put pressure on the knee. If you feel comfortable, you can take a little bit deeper each time, taking that squat a little bit further. Really extend high. Good. 10 seconds left. Up and extend, good. Into recovery, well done. Into reverse plank. So two options. You've got your box position, up and hold, or your full plank position. So point your fingers towards your toe or slightly further out, underneath your shoulders, lift up onto your heels. So key here is to have a straight line, so squeeze your glutes. This is all about your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back. Really squeezing the glutes, nice big deep breaths. Keep your spine nice and relaxed. Just look straight forward. Now keep squeezing these glutes. Good, keep it going. Adaptation, you're still squeezing your glutes. Keep that tension on. Feel it run into your hamstrings. Good. Into recovery. Excellent, overhead squat. So with our lats pulled out. 
So make sure there's tension on your towel or band. So this is a good mobility one. The wider you go, the easier it's going to be. Draw your shoulder blades back, straight arms all the way down, and then squeeze the shoulder blades as you lap pull down. Nice and low. Really squeeze. Push back up. Don't let the chest drip. Drop the weight into the heels. Pull on that resistance. Make sure your knees don't fall in as you're squatting down. If they are, you maybe need to narrow your feet a little bit and just make sure that you're really pushing out. Good. Keep the tension on. Last 10 seconds. Good. Well done. Full body exercise. We're into plank walkout. To make this a little bit harder, you could be putting a press up in at the bottom. Slow these down if they're difficult. The hardest bit is getting back off the mat and using the upper body. Good, starting at the top, hamstring stretch down onto the mat. Pause at the bottom, take as long as you need. Push up, try and keep the legs straight but knees not locked. Just trying to really get that stretch in the hamstrings. Parallel to the floor, all the way down. Really using up her body to push up. Good. Feeling gallus, chucking that press up. Big push, 10 seconds. Doing really well. Big push to the end. Excellent, good. One of my favorites, curtsy lunge. So starting with our feet together, chest nice and high. I like to have my hands up, it keeps my posture and also it means if I'm loading weight, I can put a weight against my chest. So we're gonna step back into our curtsy, making sure both knees bend all the way down, push back up, good. So just getting a little bit deeper into our glutes and abductors at the side of our leg rather than a standard lunge. Good, chest high. Really sit back into that lunge. Excellent. Nice and low, 10 seconds left. Keep going. Excellent, last one of the set, lying YTWL. So we're stretching out into our T and then we're pulling the elbows back, down on our chest. So engage the glutes, little pulses. So lift the legs and the chest up off the ground, stretch the arms out. Four little pulses in Y, staying up if you can. If not, you can have a recovery. Pull out into your T, little pulses. Draw the shoulder blades back. We're thinking of our upper back and then down into W. So we're gonna extend out, draw back, squeeze our shoulder blades together, push out, draw back again, squeeze, extend back out. Good, keep that pattern going back into Y. Excellent, good, down into recovery. Good, two minutes recovery. Make sure you grab a drink. Well done. So good news is, we've got that over again. So it's gonna feel a little bit harder this time. Go for the harder option if you can. You've got that option to make it a little bit easier. We're gonna stick with it again, four seconds on, 20 seconds recovery with the option to do 30 on, 30 recovery again. Good, so any questions, feel free to type in, we'll try and answer them back or keep them till the end. Okay, so dynamic plank. We're nearly pros at this now. Good, so starting at the end of the mat, we're gonna reach down onto the floor and walk out into plank. 
Good, hamstring stretch. Thinking of all the muscle groups that we're working. Down onto the floor, step it out. Sorry, down onto our elbows, push back up. Down, push. Make sure you're changing leading arms. Big push. Keep the hips low. Adaptation on the knees, but keep the hips forward. Don't have them high. Remember, we're working our upper body and our core. Big push. 10 seconds left. Good, all the way. Excellent, into recovery. Good, crab walks. So again, the more you sit back in these, the more you're going to feel them in your legs. Keep the chest nice and high. Little steps to the side. Good, squatting down. Remember, if you can, stay low. Nice and controlled. Good. If you need to come up, give your legs a shake, come up, then get back down. Good. You're halfway. Good. You could be adding a loop theta band for a little bit more resistance in the legs. Good. 10 seconds. Stay down. You're doing really well. Excellent. Into the recovery. Give the legs a wee shake. Good. Burpees. So either full burpees or silent burpees. Full muscle group exercise. Pretty much working every muscle. Slow it down. Think a technique. Good. So hands down. All the way out into your plank. Making sure you get right down. Parallel to the floor. Silent option. You're still doing the same thing. All the way down. Engage the core muscles as you get the feet back into place beside your hands. Good. 10 seconds. Good. Last we push. Excellent. Well done. Pike press ups. So targeting the shoulders and the tricep. So feet should be roughly shoulder width apart, keeping the hips high, looking through the legs. Nice wide hands. Head down, push back up. So if you're struggling with this one, widen your hand position. It's not an easy one. It's a small muscle group, tricep and shoulders. Try and get the head low, push back up. Good. Keep going, look through the legs. 10 seconds, nice and low. Excellent, well done into legs, give the arms a wee break. Squatting calf raises. So again, the lower you go, the harder it is. So dropping down, if you're struggling with balance, you can start to hold on to a wall if you've got a broomstick. So down into that squat and gently rolling up into the ball of your feet. So try and get that plantar flex and your ankle really pointing down into your toes to get into the calf. Good, if you need to come up and shake your legs, come up, little shake, back down. Good. Don't let the posture drop, engage the core, keep the chest high, 10 seconds. Good. Excellent. Good. Interplank reach. So remember your adaptations, plank position. You can be on your knees, hip forward, take the load off the abdominals. 
are up into full plank position. Yeah, so up, stretch and hold. It's a lot to do with engaging the core to get that balance. Good, nice big stretch. Lift the hand nice and high. Try and increase that range of movement in the shoulders as you lift and stretch. Remember your options. You need to drop to your knees. 10 seconds left. Try and push to the end. Excellent, well done. Good, frog squats. Back into the legs. So feet about shoulder width apart. Again, keep the hips high. You don't want to get deep into the legs. Taking the elbows. Tucking them in the knees. So extend the hips high, stretch the hamstrings all the way down. Stay parallel to the floor. First one, then push up. A little bit deeper each time if you can. Squeeze your adductors and then push up into your hamstrings. Good. Nice and controlled, so it's nice and slowly. You've only got 10 seconds left. Excellent. Good, last wee push. Good, reverse plank or into your bridge position is your other option, both of which work in the same muscle group. So hands underneath shoulder, point your fingers towards your toes or out towards the side. You're gonna lift up onto your feet or your heels. Up and squeeze, hold in that position. Squeeze the glutes, keep them locked on. Bridge, same, really squeezing. Good, relax your neck, don't tense your muscles in your neck. Just look straight forward, keep squeezing the glutes. 10 seconds left. Good, well done. Grabbing your resistance band or your towel into your overhead squat with your lat pulled down. So widest point in your towel Resistance band having that tension. Good. Squat position up all the way down into our heels. Make sure you're fully standing as you squeeze. So lock the glutes, lock the core, squeeze down in the shoulder blades, and then push back up. Good. Nice tall posture as you sink down into your heels. Good. 10 seconds left. Good, keep that chest forward. Excellent. Into our plank walkout in our press up. Press up is optional. Slow it down. Make it nice and steady at your own pace. Hamstring stretch at the top. Good, all the way down to the mat, walking it out. Plank position, optional press up, and then it's that pushing back up, using the shoulders, try and keep the hips nice and high. Parallel to the floor, good. All the way down. Big push for the arms. Excellent. Keep going. You're doing really well. We're nearly finished. The main set. 10 seconds left. Good. Excellent. Into your curtsy lunges. So nice high chest. We're going to get that back leg crossing it over into our lunge. 
and then push back up, alternate leg. Good, all the way back, standing back up. Good, again, we can be loading this with a weight when we're doing it in the YouTube channel. Good, nice crossover at the back. Squeeze the glutes at the top. When your feet are together, keep talking to your muscles all the way down. Good. 10 seconds left. Excellent. Last one of the main set, lying YTW. So thinking about our upper back and our shoulders. So we're gonna extend, engage the glutes up into our Y. So little pulses, about four into your T, draw the shoulder blades back into W. So pull down, pull the, draw the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Lock the glutes. Glutes should be completely solid. Pulling up little pulses. Shoulder blades. Squeeze them together. Keep looking at the mat. Don't look forward. Excellent. Down into recovery. Good news is you've got a little bit of recovery. I'm going to run through the demo of the six exercises we're going to do for abdominal muscles. So grab a drink. So the first one we're doing is our double leg raises, working our lower abdominal muscles. So from here, give you two options, straight legs, all the way down to the ground, little hip lift at the top. That's the harder option. Slightly easier option is to keep the knees bent. Go to tap down, pull up. And it just makes that lever a little bit shorter and takes the pressure off the lower abdominals. Next one, we're in our obliques, upper abdominal, gonna heel tap. So your feet stay planted in the ground, you're gonna rotate round, reach down, little, little crunch as you reach. Next one, into our glutes, we're gonna go in to fire hydrant and donkey kick. So from here, we're gonna kick back and then pull out to the side, focusing on our glutes. We can either swap legs halfway or stay on that one leg. I'm gonna do that one twice. Then we're into plank dips, working our obliques. Two options, harder option first, plank position, I'm gonna twist and dip the hips from side to side, making it a little bit easier. You can be on your knees, keep your hips forward, still dipping, rolling on the knees getting into the obliques. And then we're gonna finish on dead bugs. So harder option, both legs and arms, all the way down, pull back up. If you've got tight hamstrings, you can be bending the knees. Slightly easier option is opposite arms and legs, down, pull up. Now this is where when we're getting tired, our movement patterns might not be bang on. They just go with it, opposite arm, opposite leg. Again, 40-20 with the option to cut it to 30-30. Good, so down on your back, double leg raises. Two options, straight legs or bent knees, making sure our lower back stays on the ground. All the way down, pull up. If you can, get that little crunch at the top. Get the hips off the ground. Nice and low to the floor, pull back up. Good, adaptation, bend the knees, toe tap down, pull up. You're gonna feel this in your hip flexors and your lower abdominal muscles. Good, keep it going. 10 seconds left, you're doing really well. There's only one set of these, so push if you can. Good. 
relax your core. Heel taps, so that static hold, shoulder blades up off the mat. We're gonna crunch in, and then we're gonna keep our feet on the floor and reach for alternate heel. Good, so crunch up, stretch for the heel, tap the heel, get that twist in your obliques. So you should feel that running down your side and your upper abdominal muscles. Keep crunching round, stretch for that foot. If you need to sit back, have a little stretch and then repeat the pattern. Big push. Good, keep reaching. 10 seconds left. Good. Big push, core's getting a break next. Into recovery. Good, into your box position on your hands and knees. So we're gonna work the glutes. So we're gonna do our donkey kick up at the back and then our hydrant, you can swap pathway or stay on the same leg. Good, so kick back, lead with the heel as you're kicking back into the glutes. Lift nice and high. Again, you could be adding a loop there, a band to add a wee bit more resistance on this next time round. Try and keep your hips parallel to the floor. Don't twist. If you're swapping, swap now. If not, you're on that one leg, keep pushing. So lift the leg nice and high. Good. Should be feeling that in the glute. Excellent. Swapping legs. If you've done both legs, you're doing both legs again. So start in the opposite one. Good, box position when you're ready. So kick back, lead with the heel, hydrant out to the side. It's really targeting the glutes. Good, try not to twist the hips. Keep them parallel to the floor. Really pushing up with the heel. If you're swapping legs, swap legs. Nice big kick back. Good. Ten seconds, keep it going. Excellent, into recovery. Good, our plank dips. So our two options, full plank position or on our knees, keep the hips forward. Just a gentle rotation, getting into the back and the obliques, down onto your elbows. Good, onto your toes or knees, parallel to the floor. So you're rotating round and just dipping the hips. Good, in your own time. Make sure your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Should feel that in your back and your core. Good, use all your options. 10 seconds left. If you can, keep going. Big push. Good. Last one, dead bugs onto your back. So again, two options. We've got both arms and legs at the same time or opposite arm and leg. Good, arms and legs up and there. All the way down to the ground, pull up. So try not to get that arch in your lower back. If you're arching too much, you need to bend the knees, take the leverage off your abdominals or swap into opposite arm and leg. All the way down. The more you extend that leg, the harder it is. Big push. You're doing really well. This is the last one. Good, 10 seconds. Good. 
excellent. Good. Either grab a drink or stay relaxed on the floor. Hard work done. We're into our stretching and recovery. Good, so curl the knees up into the chest. Good, just let the heart rate come down. Gently roll side to side. Just feel that in the back. Good, from there, extend one leg up into the ceiling, cross with the other one across the front, just under the knee, support that leg. Good, so we're just going to stretch the glute, so point the toe, that's extended up down towards your face, and gently pull in. Good, you should feel that on the bent knee glute, running into the IT band. Nice big deep breaths. So every 10 seconds, you're just going to release and give a little bit more of a pull in. Good, swap legs, extend the opposite leg out, cross over, pull in. Nice big deep breaths. Good, extend that toe down towards your face. Gently pull in a little bit deeper. Good. Excellent. From there, just going to get up into box position on our hands and our knees. Going to extend the hips back and stretch our lats and our upper back. Good. So just gently pushing on your hands, get that upper body stretch round about the shoulders. Good, nice big deep breath. Excellent, just lunging one leg forward, extend and lunge forward, getting that stretch, running up the back of your quadricep, back leg, just push the hips very slowly down towards the floor. Nice big deep breath. Again, just lowering, Every 10 seconds, just release that stretch and go a little bit deeper. Good, from there, sit back into your hamstring. So feel that in the back of the leg. Go down as low as you can. It shouldn't be sore, it should be just a nice stretch. Nice big deep breaths. Good, slowly coming up, swapping legs. So lunging that opposite leg forward, hands down by the foot. Feel that stretch in the back leg. Good, just try and open up the hips, stretch the hip flexor at the top. Good, sitting back into the opposite hamstring. So again, just going as low as you can, feeling that stretch, running down the back of the leg. Good, nice big deep breaths. Excellent, just slowly coming up off the mat. Good, inter shoulder stretch, taking one arm across, lowering the shoulders down. Nice gentle stretch in the shoulders. Good, nice big shoulder roll, swap arms all the way up and round. Good. Okay, so you might, if you're not used to doing strength and conditioning, over the next couple of days, you might experience a wee bit of delayed onset muscle soreness. Totally normal. Best thing to do is just get back on and do it again. Next week, now you've started. Great opportunity to make this part of your routine. Good, last shoulder roll. Okay, so next week, 
Triathlon Scotland has um, some special rides planned. Um, so keep an eye on social media um, by Facebook. Um, you've also got this again on repeat along with other sessions on Facebook and their YouTube channel. Um, thanks very much for joining me here at Project 3. Um, hope to see you again. Hope you enjoyed your session. Take care.